This is the Music History Today podcast for October 3rd. On today's show, Sinead O'Connor rips up a photo, two companies become RCA Victor, and the first hip-hop honors takes place. First up, though, on this date in 1901, the Victor Talking Machine Company merged with the Radio Corporation of America. They took the name RCA Victor. In 1944, singer Patti Palmer married comedian Jerry Lewis. In 1945, at the age of 10, Elvis Presley performed publicly for the first time. It was for a talent show. He came in second. In 1955, the children's television variety show The Mickey Mouse Club premiered. In 1957, Pat Boone's TV variety show The Pat Boone Chevy Showroom premiered on ABC television. In 1960, Ike and Tina Turner made their American television debut on American Bandstand. In 1964, Manfred Mann became the first Western band to play in the Soviet Union. In 1988, the John Lennon documentary Imagine premiered in Hollywood. In 1988, same day, singer Lisa Marie Presley married musician Danny Keough. In 1990, record store owner Charles Freeman was found guilty of obscenity for selling records by rappers to live crew in Florida. In 1992, Sinead O'Connor ripped up a photo of Pope John Paul II during a performance on Saturday Night Live, which got her banned from the TV show and basically canceled from America. You can hear more about what went down that night, along with a bunch of other events for the week in music history, including how Steve Jobs managed to save the music industry from itself by listening to our Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped by the time you've heard this sentence on this very channel, regardless of whether you're listening or watching on YouTube or Spotify. Moving on. In 1996, Van Halen fired David Lee Roth for the second time. In 1998, Farm Aid 11 benefit concert took place. In 2003, the musical film The School of Rock premiered. In 2014, blues legend B.B. King performed on stage for the final time. And in 2016, the Gwen Stefani produced animated series Kuku Harajuku premiered on Nickelodeon. In classical music, in 1833, composer Hector Berlioz married actress Harriet Smithson. In 1900, the Elgar and Newman Oratorium, The Dream of Gerontius, premiered. And in 1929, the Viola Concerto from William Walton premiered. In theater, in 1961, the Broadway show Sail Away opened. In 1962, the musical Stop the World, I Want to Get Off premiered on Broadway. In 1963, the musical Here's Love opened on Broadway. And in 1970, the Broadway show Coco closed. In award ceremonies that were held on October 3rd, in 1991, Tanya Tucker, Vince Gill, and Garth Brooks were among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards. And in 2004, the first VH1 hip-hop honors were given. Among the nine honorees were KRS-One, Public Enemy, Tupac, DJ Cool Herc, and Run DMC. Albums that were released in the UK on October 3rd include in 1975 when George Harrison released Extra Texture, Read All About It, and in 2004 Tom Waits released Real Gone. Meanwhile in America, in 1960, the Kingston Trio released The Last Month of the Year. In 1968, Merle Haggard released Mama Tried. In 1975, The Who released The Who by Numbers. In 1977, ELO, or Electric Light Orchestra, released Out of the Blue, a classic album. And Elvis Presley released Elvis in Concert. In 1980, Diamond Head released Lightning to the Nations. And The Police released another classic, Zenyetta Mandata. In 1981, Lindsey Buckingham released Law & Order. In 1983, Genesis released their self-titled album. In 1988, Keith Richards released Talk Is Cheap. 
In 1989, Otis Day and the Knights released Shout, Jack Bruce released A Question of Time, Tracy Chapman released Crossroads, Mark Knopfler released a soundtrack to Last Exit to Brooklyn, and Linda Ronstadt and Aaron Neville released their duet album, Cry Like a Rainstorm, Howl Like the Wind. In 1990, Blind Guardian released Tales from the Twilight World. In 1991, Scarface released Mr. Scarface is Back. In 1994, Twisted Sister released Live at Hammersmith. Brenda Lee released The Very Best with Love. And The Cranberries released No Need to Argue. In 1995, Mariah Carey released Daydream. In 2000, Green Day released Warning. Luis Miguel released Vivo. The Doobie Brothers released Sibling Rivalry, and Paul Simon released You're the One. In 2005, Cream released Cream at the Royal Albert Hall, May 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 6th, 2005, and New Order released Singles. In 2006, Evanescence released The Open Door, and Daryl Hall and John Oates released a Christmas album, Home for Christmas. Singles that were released in the UK on October 3rd include in 1969 when Yes released Looking Around, in 1975 the Bee Gees released Nights on Broadway, in 1980 Supertramp released Take the Long Way Home, and in 1983 Genesis released That's All. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, Kai Winding released Time Is On My Side. In 1977, Talking Heads released Uh Oh, Love Comes to Town. In 1980, The Police released Don't Stand So Close to Me. In 1981, Triumph released Allied Forces. Also on that same exact day, Lindsey Buckingham released Trouble, which became a big hit for him as a solo artist. In 1983, Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson released Say, Say, Say. In 1987, George Harrison released Got My Mind Set on You. In 2000, Matchbox 20 released If You're Gone. And in 2006, The Who released It's Not Enough. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 3rd include Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Stevie Ray Vaughan of Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Gwen Stefani of Solo Fame and also the TV show The Voice, and also now and then the lead singer of No Doubt. Also, rapper ASAP Rocky, singer Ashley Simpson, Dan Miller of They Might Be Giants, Jake Shears of the Scissor Sisters, Kevin Richardson of the Backstreet Boys, singer India Ari, Ben Cauley of the Bark Hayes, Danny O'Donohue of The Script, Chris Collingwood of Fountains of Wayne, Tommy Lee of Motley Crue, Ronnie Laws of Earth, Wind & Fire, Lindsey Buckingham, the aforementioned, of Fleetwood Mac and Solo Fame, singer Chubby Checker, singer Bang Chan, rapper Sofago, violinist Carolina Prosenko, rapper Lil Tracy, blues singer-songwriter Keb Moe, guitarist Frank Hannon of the group Tesla, singer and actor Jack Wagner, Antonio Martinez of Los Bravos, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Eddie Cochran, rocker Alan O'Day, and drummer Nate Wood of the group The Calling. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 3rd include composer Fidel Molitor, who passed away in 1685 at the age of 58. Composer Benedetto Junk passed away in 1903 at the age of 51. Pianist Alfred Reisenauer passed away in 1907 at the age of 43. Violinist Guido Papini passed away in 1912 at the age of 65. Composer Daniel Towner passed away in 1919 at the age of 69. Violinist Carl Nielsen passed away from heart issues in 1931 at the age of 66. 
Composer Wilhelm Keinzel passed away in 1941 at the age of 84. Composer Arnold Bax passed away in 1953 at the age of 69. Folk singer extraordinaire Mr. Woody Guthrie passed away in 1967 from Huntington's disease at the age of 55. Conductor Malcolm Sargent passed away in 1967 at the age of 72. Composer Walter von Kulm passed away in 1967 at the age of 68. Blues singer Skip James passed away in 1969 at the age of 67. Trombonist Herb Fleming passed away in 1976 at the age of 77. Pianist Harrison Potter passed away in 1984 at the age of 93. Country music musician Del Wool passed away in 1989 at the age of 69. Metropolitan opera singer Eleanor Stieber passed away from heart issues in 1990 at the age of 74. Benjamin Orr of the Cars, their bassist, passed away from cancer in 2000 at the age of 53. Composer Adrian Ratiu passed away in 2005 at the age of 77. Composer Ariel Stroh passed away in 2008 at the age of 76. Music arranger Robert Kirby passed away in 2009 at the age of 61. Vibraphonist Dave Pike passed away in 2015 at the age of 77. Composer Bent Lorenzen passed away in 2018 at the age of 83. Session guitarist Vinnie Bell passed away in 2019 at the age of 87. The owner of the Phonotone record label, Joe Boussard, passed away in 2022 at the age of 86. And music teacher and composer Lena McLinn passed away in 2023 at the age of 95. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 4th, when in 1970, the world loses Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin. 